Through the work of TCV, people improve their physical and mental health and well-being by being outdoors, active and connected with others. People often say to me that just being here is, relieves their stress and anxiety and, and worries, which is a huge benefit. It's kind of meditative. It allows you to just step outside the clutter of your own mind sometimes. You know, there are very powerful multi-sensory stimulations of being out in contact with nature. And we're getting that from, you know, the sounds of the birds, visually and aesthetically, the, the different textures, the different colours, the feel of the soil, the feel of different plants, the, the smells that are they're constantly around us. Green Gym, group-based physical activity with a purpose. A lot of communities now, we know there's a lot of isolation, so people live in single occupancy households. So Green Gym brings people together to do something that the community values, so maybe planting trees, maybe opening up paths, things like that. A typical session would start with a short warm-up, followed by an hour of activity that could be anything from planting trees to sowing a meadow to building habitat boxes. Then we'll have a short tea break. Um, this section is actually really important for volunteers to socialise and connect with one another. And then that will be followed by another activity for about an hour. Um, and then we'll all end up with a cool down. TCV's Green Gym brings people back into this natural connection, this natural affinity with green spaces. So aside from the stuff that we do, just being in green spaces with groups of people benefits us and the green spaces at the same time. I'm 70 years old and I want to stay young and fit for as long as possible. I love being in the outdoors. I love doing hard physical work. I love doing meaningful work that's not only good for myself, but good for the community. With the Green Gym, we'd have a lot of people who might have mental health issues um, or have learning disabilities. With some people who'd have anxiety or who are stressed, coming out and doing something like seed collecting or you know, even just digging over or you know, doing a simple task, you can see the weight being lifted, their stress levels or the anxiety levels you know, reduced from just being outside and you know, doing something that they can look back and see the benefit of. People are physically active without really thinking I'm going to be physically active, they're just going to do something that they value. It brings people together, improves community resilience, let people um, share successes and, and share challenges as well at the same time. And that can improve things like oxytocin and dopamine which make us feel happier and we don't feel so much pain. We can show reductions in cortisol, which is really important, reductions in anxiety. And for me, really important is improvements in feelings of optimism and feelings of being useful. Nature deficit disorder is quite well known nowadays, especially among young people, but still in the, the older generations, there's a lot of people that just don't get access to outdoor environments. They're not necessarily the kind of people that would want to go to your traditional gym, whereas if you get them out into a space like this, they see a real difference, a real tangible change as they work upon it, so they get to see something positive that they've actually done. You also see constantly things in growth. If there's a, a seed that you've collected and then you've prepared it, you've put it in the ground and suddenly it becomes a tree, it's because of you that that thing is alive now and because the care that you put in. So I think what people learn as well is that it just takes a little bit of care to create a lot of life and it can be very beneficial for your own mental health. Social prescribing recognises how social, economic and environmental factors affect people's health where medication alone is unlikely to provide a sustainable improvement. Social prescribing brings people together with different programmes so like TCV's Green Gym, art therapy, debt counselling, a combination of things that's delivered in the community by community volunteering groups and other organisations which increases the resilience of people, makes them stronger, and it, it, it says to people, actually, you are at the centre of your condition. You are the best person to make yourself better, but we'll help you do that. So social prescribing recognises that a lot of things that cause ill health aren't to do with medicine. It places the person and community at the centre of the treatment, rather than drugs doing stuff to people. It improves their resilience, it makes them more active, it makes them more bound into the community locally so if they have a, a bit of a wobble they can share that and people can support them. Because they're doing things like planting trees and improving parks where they live, 
they can look at and they can see the beneficial things they're doing for community. So it has this much longer lasting impact because their work carries on for much longer. We are TCV, the community volunteering charity. Our vision is to create healthier and happier communities for everyone. We connect people and green spaces to deliver lasting outcomes for both.